two weeks ago, Jack Harlow released his most recent album called Jackman, and in my opinion, is probably his best project so far. The whole album has this boom bap style, which I am a big fan of, and of course, there's some standout names for me on production, Boy Wonder and Mario Luciano. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm going to try and emulate the sound on the album by making a couple of instrumentals in a similar style. So let's make a start. I also recently got a comment asking me to do some sort of boom bap beat. Personally, I don't know if the beats on the album can be considered boom bap uh, for the sake of simplicity and efficiency and also because I'm lazy. I'm just going to put two and two together so I can make a Jackman video and a boom bap video at the same time. If you disagree with me, I'm happy to make a boom bap video. It's no problem. I am very rusty. I'm not going to lie. I have not made boom bap in a very long time. So you might have to bear with me. Obviously, the majority of the stuff on the album is sampled. So we are going to need to find a sample for this one. So I took to YouTube, obviously, and I found this pretty cool like vintage sample loop pack I guess you could call that it's made by Gosha I got it from this channel and this is the sample that I found it sounds kind of creepy I'm not gonna lie it sounds kind of spooky so what we're gonna have to do is chop up the sample uh, and then add some drums to it I think for the verses that should be fine. I'm actually going to slow the beat down a little bit because I can just tell that the BPM is rushing the sample a bit too much. Yeah, that's way more laid back. All right, do I go for old school drums or do I go for like more trap style drums? I don't know. I think it's gonna be one of those beats where I'm just layering like 10 drum samples over one another. All right, the bass line could really just mess up this beat, so we're going to be really particular about what we choose here. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else used to watch these, but I, I grew up on like the Chris Puncel on Boom Bap videos that came out like five years ago. But I really wish I had one of those like pad things, you know, I might get one of those one day. <laughs> I played it completely wrong, but it's fine. No. This is some Looney Tunes type B. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds stupid as hell, but I'm just gonna mix it up and then see what it sounds like at the end.
be. I tried to make a Jack Harlow type beat. It just kind of, it kind of sounds like a beat that Russ would go over. I'm not gonna lie. Oh uh, wait, what's that one song from Russ that came out in like 2015 or something? Oh, uh, pull the trigger. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the drums on that track. Uh, the style of it got a bit derailed. I feel like I could hear this in the back of a Casey Neistat video or something. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second one. I'm trying to make it better and more accurate to the style of the album. A few moments later. So after searching through YouTube playlists again for another half an hour, I found nothing. I am sad. But I did go into Splice and I found this sample, which sounds pretty good. <laughs> My only concern is that it's a pretty short sample, so I'm slightly concerned that I won't be able to find many like melodic variations because there's only really like two phrases that don't repeat. That might be the first time I've ever recorded something correctly the first time, but... I know Jack Harlow doesn't like um, kick samples in his beats for whatever reason, so. I'm gonna split the guitar part into two separate parts where there's some staccato notes and some sustained notes. Uh, sustained notes, the staccato notes, and the slides. Beat's basically done, so it's time to mix and arrange. I think I'm gonna try and come up with another pattern for the verses where the sample chops are lower octave.
All right, the beat's done. I think I succeeded on this one, but I think on the previous one, I could have changed a couple of things. Overall, I think the second beat also fits the Jackman album as a whole a lot better than the first one. I think the first one's a bit too slow. Hopefully, if you're trying to make a beat in a similar style, this video provided some inspiration or something like that. And if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I could have done better for next time.